we do want to accept incoming network connections. All right, this is the first thing that you're going to see. Uh, you'll notice also that you have a standard toolbar set up in the left hand corner for the application that you have opened. Right now, <coughs> in order to connect to the teleconferencing session at the Texas State University, you'll type in the following IP address. That's 147.26.26.152. That's the IP address of our uh, Cody and MCU. Once you've entered that, you will click on the green call button. Hello. Welcome to the conferencing system. To join a conference, you may use the far end camera controls on your remote. Please enter the conference code now. Okay, so that's the audio that you're going to be greeted with. We're now connected to the MCU. At this stage, you're going to click on the tool, the hammer. It's going to give you a button called remote control. It's also going to show you a picture of you, and this is me talking to you now. We're going to click on the remote Please control. Please enter the conference code now. In order to enter, uh, enter the conference code number now, you'll click uh, a series of numbers that you will be given to connect, um, and then the right arrow button. I'll connect you to your conference now. Okay. And at this stage, you can go ahead and X out of this. So you're now currently connected in a teleconference. And you'll see a picture of yourself. There will be um, a red frame around it, which will mean that uh, you're sending audio successfully. It's picking that audio up. And if I stop talking, you'll notice that the uh, red frame goes away when you stop, stop talking. The red frame is basically going to border the window um, of the tell your teleconferencing partner or you when they're speaking. You have some options down here. You can bring up uh, a resident picture of the camera that you're using. Right now we're on a, uh, a Mac uh, using the iSight camera that's built in. It's a good camera. And you can do a number of different layouts. Um, this right here, this little button, the mute microphone button, is sort of counterintuitive. When you click it, um, when it, you, you see it and it does not have a line through it, that means that it's muted. When you click it again, that basically means that uh, it is unmuted, and that's verified by the red border. Okay. Uh, in the toolbar area, we can pull that back up. You'll see that you have three different tabs. You can um, verify your headset that you're using to input the audio and also what you're using to listen to the audio that's being transmitted. This is also where you would verify what camera that you're using. Um, it is important that you do use a headset for this. Uh, if you are using an external mic connected to your PC or your Mac and you're using a set of external desktop speakers, you would get a lot of feedback. So it's very important that you have a headset. And you'll notice that the headset, the boom on it, is actually located pointed down towards my chin and not towards my mouth. And that's so you won't get a lot of distortion. OK. You'll notice that you can record calls in this, but that's not something that you're going to want to enact. If you did that, it would put a big red stripe across the bottom of your window saying that you're recording it. That's not something that you really want to, to have happen during this. And then you can X out of this, too. Uh, I'm going to go up to X Meeting and Preferences. It opens another tool set that you can see here. This is under General where you can change your name. Uh, you can uh, look at the appearance, automatically enter full screen mode. You can show self-viewed mirror. Accounts. Here's where you can actually add an account name. Uh, location. This is where you're calling from. This is where you can readjust your bandwidth limit. Uh, firewall settings, a number of other uh, settings that may be important for you or whoever's assisting you helping this with helping set this up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get out of that. And we're going to save. Th okay, and that's it. In order to get out of this, we're going to click X. We're now, we've shut it off. We're no longer in the conference. We come to X meeting, quit X meeting, and that's it. And after all this is done, if you don't want this anymore, you can highlight it and drag it down into your trash can. 
and it should be gone. All right, good luck.